Hi everybody, it's Carl and Ian from The Real Outdoor Experience. Today we're talking about musky. More specifically, all the gear that goes with musky fishing. So stand by, we'll get right back to it right after this. This Musky 101 episode is brought to you by Blackfly Lures, where names like Hatchet, Double Blade, Metal Buzz, Lizard Skin are not cool names of heavy metal bands. They're names of some serious pike, musky, and bass lures. Check these freshwater killers out at blackflylures.com. Just had a fun encounter with a young lad that's on the lake. He's fishing without a net. <laughs> we went over to help him. He wound up losing the uh, the, the, the muskie before uh, he was able to get it in the boat. But it's an important lesson, you know. If you're fishing for for big, you know, big fish, you got to have a net in the boat to uh, to be able to bring the fish in. It, it's it's easier on the fish. You can take the hooks out while it's still in the water and it's a, and that's just a course an important piece of equipment something else we noticed while we were over at his boat and the uh, a big bulldog the, uh, a lure very very similar to that except it had uh, I think the two prong tails on it now that's got to be a nine ounce bait I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly what the weight rating is but on the side of your rod there is going to be a weight rating and you'll see that this says fast heavy action 4 to 10 ounce lures and 40 to 60 pound line and that means that this rod itself is actually capable of hurling these you know monster musky baits and the uh, the rod that the, the young fellow was using was probably designed for more of a two ounce lure at the outside but when you're picking a rod make sure that you pay attention to that ounce rating and that you're actually looking at what type of lure you're going to be throwing and matching it up to the rod if you're using a lure that's too big for the rod that you're using you're not going to be able to have the hook set you're not going to be able to to properly land the fish that you were you know ideally targeting with lures this size we owe it to the fish to make sure that that we do get it into the boat get it unhooked and released with as little stress and, and trauma to the fish as possible if you're using light tackle very very hard on the fish uh, it just winds up too exhausted and um, it's hard on your equipment using lures that aren't the appropriate size so I don't know just thought it was worth mentioning after that encounter with the young lad. <laughs> so we've talked about gear and you know good reel big heavy rod but really the fish aren't biting the rod or reel they're biting what's on the line. Is that a good reason to have 400 different lures in a box? Oh, absolutely. You don't know on, a, on any given day what strategy is gonna work. The conditions are gonna change throughout the day. You, you can go from calm and blue sky to you know, overcast and windy at the drop of a hat. And that is gonna change up your, your tackle choice and what, what colors are gonna work. In that scenario where you know, a front is coming in, that does seem to just agitate everything. And that's when the, you know, the bite comes on. Shoulders of the day seem to always be more effective for any type of fish. Right. This is a, a buzz bait, drag through the water you know, relatively quickly. The prop is going to create that bubble and that agitation that is so great to watch. Um, and I don't think that fish are looking at it going, mm, you know, I wonder if that is something that I, I want to eat. It's just I think impulse. it's just, they just see it and bang, hit it. You've got a, an, an interesting, very classic spinner bait. You just use it just like that. That's an effective walleye lure, that's a mask lure. The spinner baits are, have proven time and time again to be so effective. When you're reeling in that last six feet of line, it's so tempting to just drag it out of the water and throw it again. But watch behind it. Most of the people now, I think, have heard of that figure eight, and that's something really, really important to do. It's amazing how often you can actually entice a strike like yes. that. Slot sizes are important. If you do want a trophy mounted, you gotta make sure that's a legal fish. And right. different bodies of water do have those different slot sizes. I am such a big fan of that same style but in the much bigger version. That right there is my go-to lure. If I could only have, well, you know what? If I could only have one, that would that would probably be it for most scenarios. You've really got to change it up with musky to see what's going to entice a strike. If you get a follow or a hit on a particular lure, try doing that same thing, vary your speed a little bit, but you will be able to figure it out. If, if I can break the code in the first half of the day and then fish that method for the second half of the day, that's my sort of particular style. Another one of my favorites, that daredevil color, red and white, that is such a tried and true predator lure. I'll bet all of our grandfathers taught us how to catch pike on a, <laughs> the old daredevil spoon. There's more that's... daredevils at the bottom of lakes than <laughs> anything else. I do find that using those styles of lures, but the different colors, 
will trigger fish one day and, and not the next. You gotta look for the black fly lures, and that's, uh, we're not just plugging, uh, you know, Steve the black fly guy, but that really is one of my favorite lures. On his website, you can actually see some pictures of, of me with a fish that I caught on that lure out on the Ottawa River, um, out in front of Renfrew. Folks, worth checking out blackflylures.com. Steve Hartnagel does such a great job with that lure. He's local, he lives in uh, Acton, and that's where he makes these lures. The pike and muskie taker, I would never go musky fishing or pike fishing without that in my tackle box. Grab a couple of different colors, you never know what's going to work for your body of water. So, thanks Steve. It's a, uh, keep making them, they're fantastic lures. Excellent. Thanks for tuning into our episode on musky gear. We really appreciate it. As always, get your kids outside, try something new, and always keep it real. Always keep it real. Thanks and take care for now.